team members and having a really hard time hiring replacement employees because your work schedule isn't as flexible as they request it to be? On this week's episode of the Cutting Edge Leadership and Apparel Development, we are talking all about remote and hybrid work models. I totally understand that the fashion industry is a product-based business. We wanna be able to handle apparel, we wanna be able to be in the fit room together. When we're feeling fabrics and we're looking at seams on garments, we want to be able to be in the room together. But back in 2020, when we all were asked to shelter in place because of the COVID-19 virus spreading, so many brands, every single brand that I've talked to, had to figure out a solution on how to make it work remotely while we were all working from home. And over the last year or so, I've started to see a lot of brands revert back to mandating people come back into the office. And I ask you, is that really what your employees want? I was recently reading an article online that said most brands who mandated their employees come back to the office actually were doing it in hopes that their employees would quit. It's such an interesting thought experiment to me to realize that those brands knew how unhappy it was gonna make people to have to come back into the office, that it was helping them prevent layoffs and having to fire those people by pushing them out the door and making them quit on their own. Is that the environment that you're curating at your brand as well? Or are you allowing a hybrid model or a fully remote model? Today, I wanna to walk you through three big tips that I have if you would like to do a more hybrid or a remote model with your team. My name is Rachel Erickson. I've been working in the performance apparel industry for over a decade. And now my performance apparel development consulting company is 100% remote across the world. We have people who work for us in the UK and through all corners of the United States. When our clients come to us, the number one thing that they're concerned about is communication and the fact that we're not gonna be in the office with them every single day. So how do we handle that situation with them to ensure that they're comfortable to move forward and bring us on as team members? Number one, we do a weekly team stand-up meeting with all of our clients. This stand-up meeting is usually only 30 minutes long and we go through all of the different projects that we have every single week and make sure everything is moving forward as planned. It's my job as our project manager to make sure that all of our different meetings are on the calendar. We review them in those stand-up meetings to make sure that everybody's prepared for them in all of their different ways. And then we also make sure that everyone is following up as needed. You'd be surprised what you can get done in just 30 minutes every single week. Now the brands who need a little bit more attention, we go to a daily stand-up meeting. And these are only 15 minutes long, but every single day we meet for 15 minutes to see what's on everybody's plate of work. Does anybody have a blocker? Is there anything in their way from being able to get something done? If so, how do we, their team, help them get unblocked and moving forward? Tip number two is to start a Slack channel. We are available to our clients all day, every day, during our working hours on Slack. So we can ping back and forth constantly, asking questions, getting answers, sharing photos, sharing documents, making sure that everything is flowing in a very rapid way. Slack has been a time saver and a crucial app to add to our arsenal. Unmark Street has a special channel for every single client that we have, and it has really helped us move along the communication and help us stay hybrid and remote with all of our clients easily. The final and third tip that I have for you is to put a solid process in place. Without a solid process for pre-fittings, measuring garments, reviewing garments, who ships what where, and how long should it all take, it's really hard to work remote. But what we see on the back end of that is a lot of additional productivity. You would be surprised to know that when we're all in the room together during a fitting or during a meeting, all of that scope creep kind of comes in. We start to see people having different conversations during the meeting. We start to see people not paying attention over there. We start to see people bringing up things that maybe aren't pertinent to what's actually happening in the room. But when we work remote and we have a solid pre-fittings, we have a solid wear testing schedule, and we know exactly who is doing what when, we see immense returns on productivity from us and our teams. Our clients are getting through fittings faster, we're actually doing less rounds of protos for all of our clients because the fittings are actually a lot more accurate when we focus this way. And the results we've seen have been highly impressive. 
Now, every brand is different. I totally understand that some people love to come into the office and have that camaraderie every single day. There's a lot about team building and there's a lot about personal relationships that get built when you're in the room with someone every single day. But if having a policy like that is actually driving more people away from your company, maybe it's time to consider what it could look like to be more remote or more hybrid. If the ideas in this video intrigue you at all, we are doing absolutely 100% free discovery calls with anybody in the industry who might be interested in networking, asking a few questions, or lending their advice to us. You can reach out to us by going to unmarkstreet.com slash apply. Put your information into our open client application and we'll get back to you with next steps soon. Next steps are a completely free call with our customer solutions manager to help you get on the right path, get the answers that you need, no strings attached. We can't wait to meet you, hear from you, and know how we can help. In the meantime, I'd love for you to like and subscribe this video here on YouTube. It means the world to us that our community is growing over here. And more subscriptions means that we get to get more videos out to you over time. Thanks so much for joining me this week, and I'll see you next week.